And now, a security expert, Chuku Emeka Ize, says the rise of militia groups among political parties in Ghana is an indication of state failure. He says the recent happenings in the talent seat by election, if not checked before 2016, could dent the country's credential as a beacon of democracy in Africa. Names like Azoka Boys, Boga Bulldogs, Party food soldiers and invisible forces have become synonymous with political parties in Ghana. Although these militia groups are illegal under the country's constitution, they have over the years protected the interests of their parties in acting as security details at party rallies. The bravado fashion with which some of them parade at those rallies to the extent of getting into confrontation with others gives the impression that their methods are accepted by their party leadership. Because the incumbent is always availed with the state security, the police, the army, and so on and so forth, what the opposition normally does is to use those militia groups to equate the powers of the ruling party and not just in Ghana but even beyond. So what has happened in recent time is that because the contestation about poli political power is getting higher and higher and then the gains thereof is also getting higher and higher, uh, people tend to now uh, latch more on these militia groups for protection, for show off and the enormity of their power and for intimidation. Executive Director of West African Network for Peace Building, Chukwe Mecca Ize, attributes their existence to lack of faith in the security agencies. What people forget is that this is also one indices of state failure. Because what it means is that politicians who are supposed to be custodians of state institutions no longer have faith in the state institution. And they now have more faith in non-state or non-state actors, including militias that are not trained to handle arms and ammunition. Once they become ethnic militias, it becomes very dangerous. He said government failure to arrest and prosecute members of these groups for misdemeanors is a source of worry. Members of parliament, are they also beneficiaries of the militia group? That's the question. You see, it takes political will to arrest somebody who has been considered to ha have fought for you. But ideally, they should be arrested and tried before the law. Why? Because they are illegal. No constitution, no civilized state will ever allow that. You know, but if you do any arrest now, my fear also is that it could escalate into something else, which is why only my group, why not the other group? But I think the police need to step up to it. He said the use of weapons by these groups is enough reason for activists and civil society organizations to challenge the use of militia groups by political parties.